Hello there, this is a message here for Keith. Um, and anyone else out there who's got a, a hip problem, what can you do in the meantime when you're waiting uh, for hip operation uh, to try and relieve some of your pain? Now, one of the ways I like to treat my clients is by using gentle articulation. And you can do this home quite easily using the weight of your own limbs, like so. So you're gonna try and either sit down or lay down on your back, but I'll just start off sitting to show you. Um, take the feet and put them about a foot apart. Sit back, hold your stomach in to protect your spine, and simply turn the feet back and forth, okay? So rotating internally and externally, each foot like that. And then nice and slowly, very, very gently. Sometimes this is best done with a pair of shoes on because the weight of the shoes can act like a pendulum, so you're barely using the uh, muscles of your legs. So you, you have to use the adductors here to tighten the leg, and as you really push the leg out, the glutes at the back help to bring it out, and the weight then helps it drop out more. So the, 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 mo the motion is very gentle. It's a rhythmic, pendulous motion like this. Best on your back because it takes the pressure off the front of the hip joints. So if I'm back here, this is going to be a little easier for me. Once you've done that, uh, we're going to try some leg slides. So just again, we're either sitting or lying position, holding your tummy, let the legs slide out and back, and slide out and back, and do about 20 of these if you can. Quite a lot of repetitions, but very slowly, very gently, you're just moving the weight of the leg as easily as possible. After you've done that, then let the leg drop out to the side, and roll around. So yeah, this is best done on your back. So when you come down to me like so, Draw the leg out to the side, straighten and back, and the other leg, and straighten and back. So as we drop the legs to the side, we're allowing to stretch the adductor muscle, and then of course we're activating it as we come back up again. We're working the hip flexors in the front of the thigh. <coughs> when you do these exercises, try to slow the movement down as much as possible, so you're taking about five seconds uh, to straighten the leg and five seconds to bring it back up again. If you want, you can then uh, lay on your front into a similar motion. If you do this one, you may want to put a pillow on your tummy to protect your lower back and maybe one even underneath your knees here to protect the knees as well. <clears throat> so lay down like so, bring the legs up. And again, if you can, hold the tummy in to protect your back and drop the legs out to the side and round like this. Again, Gently, slowly and controlled, slow it down as you go. That's good. And again, you're off weight bearing, so the hip joint is not being compressed at all. Every movement we've done so far, just gently massages the hip joint. If there's any inflammation there, it'll help to pump that out and get any swelling down. Whereas at the same time, we're still working our hamstrings in this position. We're now going to move on to the glutes, um, particularly the side glutes here. So get come to this position like so, so your, your knees are bent to 90 degrees, the hips about 45 degrees, and this text is called the clam. You gotta lift the leg up, you hold the tummy in of course to protect your back, and you lower, and breathe out and lift, and breathe in and lower, breathe out and lift, and breathe in and lower. And you want to try and do again about 10 to 20 of these on each side. Once you've done that exercise, because that's going to activate and make it quite a, quite painful, you can feel the burn there. Again, repeat the process, but in reverse, lay on your front and do the legs around the circles, then lay on your back and the legs straight out and back. And then finally, toes in, toes out, toes in, toes out. So you go back out the same way you came back in again. And see how you get on with those. Um, that should give you a little bit of relief. It's not a guarantee fix for hip uh, joint that needs replacing, but it will give you a bit of relief because it's going to put a bit of movement through the joints and get those muscles working as well. See how you go, let me know how you get on. Take care. Bye-bye.